Okay, we're on the other side here coming at it from the back patio uh, where the pool side is. All right, and you can see uh, flashing looks good there. I got a kick out flashing coming outside of the wall. Uh, shingles look okay. Um, on this particular side, there is a little bit of damage. If you could see right over here, just the, the wear, not damage, but uh, shingles are starting to wear. You can see the ends of them a little bit. Another area where I have a little bit of a concern is just to have someone come out and take care of this. Uh, this shingle here is loose, okay? There's a nail penetration that's exposed there, right over here. And it could be uh, that with the gutters here at this location and that loose shingle, it's possible if you get enough wind that you can get water in this corner above the soffit. Um, doesn't seem to be weak at this time, but it's certainly a condition that you would want to uh, service at this time so that you don't have any water get in there. So that would be, this would be a good time to do that. All right, again, you can see the flashing as you look up along here. All right, and the shingles don't look to be in bad condition. I mean, like I said, they are 13 years of age. All right, so they definitely have some age behind them, but they have some years in front of them too. So um, that's the story on the roof shingles. Now, we don't have physical access to that second story. Okay, we'll view that, that best we can with binoculars from the ladder and from the ground. All right, but our assessment of the roof is that uh, you probably have, let's see, we're looking at... Um, 13 years old, so maybe about seven years left on the roof, five to seven before you have to start to worry about it.